Today's video is so satisfying. I'm going to share easy color blocking techniques for mixed media collage so that you can get beautiful results every single time. We'll learn how to create foolproof underpaintings so that you never have to fear ruining a project you're working on. And I'll share my thoughts for getting your ideas together before committing to the canvas. We'll also be building on exciting techniques and cool materials that we've been using over the past several weeks. This is the stage where you can start to see your collage come together. It's my favorite part when creating this type of series. I'm Jackie Bernardi, and welcome to my studio. Over the past several weeks, I've been working on a three panel series for my kitchen. And in the prior weeks, we built layer upon layer of collage to create a textured background. In the last video, we used the decollage technique to create a dynamic top layer that we're going to put the collage subjects on. We even went in with a glaze to add incredible depth and create some cohesion between the three panels. Now today, we're finally getting to the subjects of the series and we're going to start with creating an underpainting by color blocking to guide us while we're collaging. The panels have been drying overnight so that what we're starting on is a fresh surface. And here I have a drawing that I made of a tomato and it's just a line drawing with some light shading in it so I can manage the values as I'm doing the underpainting. Now this is Sorrel transfer paper and I'm going to use a little sheet of that and I'm going to put it underneath a piece of medical exam paper and then I'm going to put the drawing on top and use just a pencil to outline this. This is, I'm going to show you two techniques today. This is the most simple way to do this. All it takes is the transfer paper. You could even uh, use some pencil on the back of the uh, drawing and transfer the graphite that way. But all I'm doing is outlining I could go in and doing the do the shading with the side of the pencil. I did not do that here because I'm not actually going to use this drawing, or I should say, I'm not actually going to use this technique here to transfer the underpainting onto the panel. So I'm going to show you a different technique, right? But I wanted to show you that this is a very simple way to get going on. I don't want you to stop yourself from trying things because they seem complicated. This is as simple as it gets. You are literally just tracing. And I flipped the page over so I could create the line drawing on the backside also, just so, you know, the medical exam paper tends to be a little, uh, a little opaque-ish before it's wet. Now, if you don't know about the medical exam paper, I would go back and watch the episode that I did on transparency and translucency. I have linked to that in the description below. And now I just cut down the paper so there's not a ton of it. Again, I'm not using this paper for this project. I just wanted to show you that what I'm going to do next can actually be as simple as what I just did there. All right, so here is what I am using. Now, I created this drawing in a program called Procreate on my iPad. And I went ahead and I did the line drawing, I did the shading in Procreate, and then I printed it off onto this piece of medical exam paper. Now, if that's something that you're interested in learning how to do, please let me know either in the comments or go ahead and email me if you're on my mailing list and let me know that that's something that you would like to learn because it's a fantastic technique. So I created the drawings and the shading just so I could maintain values as I was doing the underpainting. Now this is an underpainting for the upcoming collage. The painting that I'm going to do here, you will likely not see once I finish the collaging of the subjects. But the reason why I'm doing is, is it's going to create a guide for me to follow. I don't particularly enjoy drawing. I don't feel that I'm very good at it. Uh, I think it takes a lot of time. It doesn't really match with my freewheeling style of creating, but I find that having a drawing 
or somewhat of a shape to follow when I'm doing the underpainting really helps me keep in mind of the look that I'm trying to get at the end. And of course, the look that I'm trying to get at the end of the series is an abstracted version of a tomato and a red onion and an avocado. You know, these are my favorite fruits and vegetables for the kitchen. What I'm doing here is I'm working on the tomato. This is so simple. It doesn't matter what level of artist you feel you're at, you can do this. All I'm doing is blocking in colors here. I'm choosing to use colors that will be similar to the colors at the end, but you don't have to. I could have done the color blocking all in purple if I wanted to for the tomato, so long as I kept the value and the shading very similar, because although it's going to be an abstractive version of a tomato in the end, it is going to live in my kitchen and I do want it to have some sense of realism, right? So all of this is to say, all I am doing is just putting a little bit of color here. It, the color doesn't matter, the shading and the value matter. So just going in, I'm putting in some yellows, I'm mixing colors as I go. I'm going to add a little green because the heirloom tomatoes that I like usually have a little green in them. And I'm just kind of following the guideline, I'm not kind of, I am following the guideline of the shading and value. Because what will happen is once I am done adding the color to this piece of medical exam paper, I will collage this directly onto the panel. And from there, I will go into the collaging of the actual subject based on the guidance from this underpainting that I'm doing. Now, if the word underpainting is, seems like too much for you, just use the word color blocking. You're just adding shades of color into a shape. That's it. That's literally all this is. And I love these colors. I really do. All of the materials that I'm using are listed in the description below. And pretty much all I'm using here are uh, golden fluid acrylics and the specific colors that I'm using are listed. This series has been really, really fun and <laughs> I'm getting so many comments in the emails uh, from people that are enjoying it, that never thought of using a palm sander before in their art and so on. If you would like to join my mailing list where the conversation with me really happens, I would love for you to join it. And there's a link to join the list down in the description below. I also have some surprises coming up in the very near future. So you might want to be on the list for that. Now you can see, I just turned it over. The medical exam paper does not fail. I mean, it really gets pretty translucent once you start putting anything wet on it. I'm gonna put it off to the side to dry, and then I'm gonna start in on the red onion. And again, I'm keeping the colors pretty close to what they will end up being. And the, the collage, materials that I'm going to use to go over this underpainting later are going to be the papers that we made in the second episode of the series with just painting papers. Using the paint colors that you see on my gel plate palette right now, these were the colors that we used when we painted the paper. So there's a continuity, not only between the papers and the subject, there's actually a continuity between all three subjects because we're using the same colors in all three subjects. This purple that I'm purplish, puce, I don't know what color you want to call it, but oh no, <laughs> there I go. All right, well, that was quite a bit more paint than I wanted on the palette, but you know, sometimes that happens. 
But anyway, the point is, is that that purple that I was just using, I also used over in the tomato. And you can see that in the shading down below the tomato and actually on the lower portion of the tomato itself. It's very nice when you have continuity between the colors when working in a series. Again, this is a series on a series. So it's very meta. <laughs> You've got to go back and think it through. But I'm always mindful that I do want there to be continuity, even though this will be an abstracted collage when it's all said and done. I do want continuity between the three panels. Mm, I'm liking how the red onion turned out. I'm also liking how <laughs> the tomato turned out. It's going to be a little bit of a shame to cover them up, to be honest, but it's okay. And some of you will probably be upset that I'm going to cover these up. Um, please don't be. This is all experiment and experience. And how do you know if you're going to like something or enjoy the way it turns out if you don't just try? If you've been here before, you know that I am all about experimenting and exploring. And that's as much the truth when I'm creating something that I'm going to put up in my house as it is when I'm just playing painting with papers. And I think it's really important. I don't hold anything I do so precious that I won't consider exploring. I hope that makes sense. I'm very optimistic that I'm going to love the way this series turns out when I collage over these underpaintings. But I'm also really liking the underpaintings too. Here I am with the avocado and I'm focusing on the shading and the highlights that will be on this avocado as it is finished. And again, as you can see my technique, I'm just using short brushy strokes to just block the color in. I'm not entirely concerned about blending because this is not at all the final, the final look. I just want to have the areas of value. That will be important in terms of guidance as I do this. If you are enjoying what I'm doing here, this color blocking and the, the underpainting, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up and if you'd subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when the next episode of this series comes out. It would mean an awful lot to me. There's so many fascinating colors in this particular palette on their own they may not seem like they work together but as you can see in actual application they really do work together and again that whole continuity between the different parts of this series and i'm really working on the shading underneath all three subjects because the panels that we're putting these on are dark to begin with. And so I really want to be able to see the shading that I would like to have, the direction of the shading, the intensity of the shading that I would like to have in the final collaged piece. <laughs> I love the way this avocado is coming together. <sighs> this is really fun. This would be a great exercise just to do and not collage over it as well. I mean, do what feels good to you, what feels right to you. I am going to continue on and collage over it, but this could have been a good stopping point too. This would have been a great exercise to do in my sketchbook. I 
Right, the subjects have had time to dry. I came back and cut them down just to really outline the shapes themselves before we put them on the panels. I'm going to apply them to the panel using golden gloss medium. Now I have transferred the medium into this condiment bottle because when I bought the gel medium, it came in this screw off top and when you start pouring it out, it gets all crusty around the cap. So I like putting it into the condiment bottle. It gives me more control and I do not have to worry about it getting all crusty and you know hard to open. So as we've done in the past couple videos, when it comes to this medical exam paper, what you wanna do is lay down a layer of the gloss medium then you want to spray the paper on both sides, put it down on top of the gloss medium on the panel, position it, and then go over it again with more gloss medium. This is what makes the medical exam paper transparent. And it's really satisfying to watch. <laughs> because you know in the back of your head, it's medical exam paper. It's so ridiculous that this works the way that it does, but it does. The difference between using this and regular tissue paper, regular tissue paper will also disappear. However, it will not hold up to a lot of wetness or a lot of brushing. Like tissue paper is very delicate. The medical exam paper is not so delicate and can really take a lot of abuse. So again, I'm just doing this with the avocado, same exact process, put the gloss medium down, get the paper wet, both sides, lay it down on top of the gloss medium, and then go over it again with more gloss medium. Repetitive, yes, but the results are really, really great. And what I am noticing here is I can still see a little bit of the outline of the medical exam paper. And while I'm spraying this, I'm thinking about that because in the experiments that I've done in the past, in the experiment that I did in the translucency and transparency video, this didn't happen. And so I'm wondering why it is happening now. And uh, as I was putting the tomato on this third panel, I realized it might be because the paper is so wet when I put it down that it's diluting the gloss medium underneath it and over it. Like it's, uh, I don't know how to say what I'm thinking, but I'm observing it. So what I did is I waited a few minutes, about maybe 10 minutes, and I came back in and put more gloss medium on top. Once the, once the medical exam paper had a chance to breathe a little, if you will. And so what you're gonna see now is I'm coming back in with the gel medium to try to work out the, mm, the translucency that is framing the shape of the tomato and the avocado. I'm not putting a lot of gel medium on, but I am putting on enough to make sure it goes over the edges. And see, there's already a difference with that tomato. Now, before I do anything else to these panels, I need to let them dry and get really dry before we start the collaging process. In next week's episode, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use all the gorgeous papers that we created in episode two of this series, and we're going to use them to create the collage of the subject that we did the underpainting for today. You are definitely not going to want to miss the next episode, that's for sure. So to get your collage juices going while you wait, I would watch this video next.
Thank you so much for being here.